What's up, guys? It's your boy, Chun City Gamer here, back with more Tiger Woods BJ Short 2003 for more of the Tiger Chun. We take on Justin Under and St. Andrews on the back nine. Let's do it. A beautiful, clear day today. Should be terrific for golf. This is Bill McAtee for EA Sports. David Faraday is walking the course with the players who are ready to go on the first tee. Off the tee at number 10, you want to aim between the twin bunkers in the foreground, although the fairway widens slightly on the left at the range of a good drive. There are a number of ways you can attack this undulating green. Attack the hole and you will be rewarded, but it's always a good idea to check where the flagstick is before you hit your tee shot. Well, I guess probably in the same point as it usually is. Yep, same spot. It's like a full swing at two big Right. Okay, now it's like full swing. It's good ball here, Billy. It should work out great. I didn't like half the animation at first. It just looked ugly. Now it's much better. In the fairway. 300 even. And then the best Mr. Justin Leonard. He, he's not the best power he's not the best power hitter, but he's great with course management. So he's a tough player any day, they say. This should play well from here, Billy. I'm sure we'll be playing him a lot, so you'll hear that a lot. Play Billy. Short. This one's in a good spot. Okay, a little off the hill back and make it. I think. I give it a good whack up the hill. Didn't make it in the hole, but I at least got it close. For birdie. Oh, it's spun off. We got like hurried into the car. Nice hit. Up. This for a half. Gets his par. I Ooh. didn't think he missed that. I'd have to question his skills otherwise. The eleventh at St Andrews is one of the most celebrated par threes in all the world. With any kind of a wind, it's one of the most difficult too. It has greenside bunkers so deep you can get lost in them, and a green that falls severely toward the front. Regardless of pin position, try to aim between the two large bunkers. So we can't hit further. There we go, that'll work right onto the green. That'll be in good shape. Didn't even have to worry about sand trap because I took an extra club. Mr. Leonard's got to do with a bad bounce. Putting for birdie. Not bad, I'll take that. Sure. Leonard takes the hole. Fuck you! You lucky bastard! Ah yes, the twelfth. I actually had a chance here in the 1995 Open Championship, the one that Big John won. Of course, I four-putted this green to drop out of contention in the last round. It's a magnificent short par four and way too clever for me. That lucky bastard sank a 17 foot birdie, that is not right. He'll be in good shape with this one. Ah yes, the 12th. I actually had a chance here in the 1995 Open Championship, the one that Big John won. Of course, I four-putted this green to drop out of contention in the last round. 
It's a magnificent short par four and way too clever for me. I'm gonna go for a hand. Dude. This looks good. It's down the middle. I was trying to get there too. I'm gonna go for an eagle shot. I might be able to get there now. Damn. What do you give to the best golfers in the game? Why, a trophy ball, of course. First par four green and one trophy ball. Awesome! I got me a trophy ball! And 3,000 bucks. Even if I lose, I'm definitely keeping those. Well, I'm not sure if I'd like the flag tended or if I'd like somebody to wave it around so I could see where they are. This is miles from the hole, Billy. Three miles from the hole, but the fact is, I got there in one go. Fifty-four foot, not quite, but it's an easy birdie. This putt for birdie. You won't make this. So I'll be taking the hole. Told you. You can win the hole with this one. Win the hole. Tell Jared win the hole. I got me a trophy ball on the 12th. On the 13th, the drive should be to either side of a group of bunkers 200 yards from the tee, appropriately named the Coffins. Because if you go into one of them, you're dead. Wherever you are in the fairway, your second will be a long carry to reach the green. The green is immensely deep and guarded on the right by two formidable bunkers. Uh-huh. That one usually works. Oh, that was lucky. That was very lucky. I just narrowly missed hitting that sand trap. A game of inches, eh? I like the looks of this one. It's just fine. Should have a good chance from there. I don't think anybody's a long way away from it. We might have a chance at equal here. Man, that was good. Not an eagle, but ridiculously easy approach shot. All you gotta do is tap it in, we got a birdie. That's a birdie. So back to back birdies, I'll take it. I'm not sure you have much to worry about here. I don't give this much of a chance. Once I'm in the lead on Justin Leonard. I played him several times and I can never seem to get a lead. Well, I got one now. The ideal line at the 14th is to the left of the wall and to the right of the fairway bunkers. Holding the green on your approach will be a considerable challenge as it slopes sharply from front to back. I'll do. That should work out nicely. Does he dare go for the green in two? Is he that aggressive? He is, and he's in second. David Faraday? Well, we're right out there in the 
miles away zone. This is 265, 270 yards to go. Do I make? Except now I might be heading for a sand trap too. Nope, it's there, but it's on the it's in the middle of nowhere. Oh, it's on the green. Yeah, but it's 130 feet away. There's no way in hell I can get that. My lead is gonna start. David, just a good lag is all you want from this distance. There is no way in hell I can get this. I'd have to aim it like several miles. It would even go off the thing. So thirty seven feet away. Despite all that, I can easily get a par here. And I'm gonna get a par since he misses birdie putt. So despite all that, I'm gonna get a par and keep my lead. I thought for sure my lead was gone when I had to hit something 130 feet. Disappointing three putt par. And it ain't disappointing if you keep your lead, man. Shut up. Shut your mouth. Your ideal target off the 15th tee is right between the two prominent humps in the center of the fairway. My advice here is to take an extra club and then play safe into this double green. Three seventeen, not bad. This should be in perfect shape. Show off. Goes into the same distance as me. And he gets in the tank right there. Let's show Bernie. That we should be putting now. Where's it gonna land? Okay, that's a little long one back in man. Okay, that'll do it. 64 foot, that's a long putt. Fort St. Low, he doesn't even get to the green, so I'm alright. Well, we're going to need a big swing with the putter here. This is miles away. Oh, we might have a chance at this. That's all right. I got it very close. Easy tapping. Justin Leonard for bogey. Tapping this two putt up. for par. Or not. Should have went two up instead, I'm not even going to get a chance to go two up. Then I got to stay. I should have been going two up, but I messed that up. If I can win one of these, it's over. On number 16, the safe play is to drive to the left of the principal's nose bunker, which is visible at 180 yards. Thank While the more heroic, or perhaps foolish golfers, can try the gap between the principal's nose and the out-of-bounds line, which is like a three-strand wire fence down the right. This line makes for a shorter, easier second shot, but it is a dodgy line off the tee. Point is, I got a chance to win this thing, and I can blow it. Okay, if you got a problem with this shot, well then you need to think about another game. Game, maybe. maybe.
Okay, two seventy, not bad. Safely on, this is in good shape. Damn. Tell us what you have, David. Well, I've had a look at the lion. This is a nice one. Got lucky here. I got lucky with that too. Oh, this is a miraculous side. What a shot. This for Birdie. Thank God he missed it. David, what do you see? I don't see a whole lot in this one, Billy. Uh, should be pretty much straight in. Got it up and down for par. Up and down, keep the lead. This for par. It's got to win. If I win at the 17th, it's Ooh. over. Heck, even if I go even at the 18th, it's over. The road hole has long been believed by many golfers to be the most famous par four in the world of golf. The way the green was laid out, even down. accomplished golfers find it difficult to avoid the notorious road hole bunker, or the road itself and the wall behind. To stop the ball on this green with a long iron is next to impossible. So I've been waiting for that. This is what I've been trying to do. Trying to beat Justin Leonard quite a while. Finally got a chance. Let's not blow this. This one looks good. Let's not screw this up, people. We're so close. This should play well here, David. his favorite right there. David, just under 190 yards, Billy. This is going to take a pretty good shot from here. Looks like a four iron. Yeah, well, finding uh, this green from there might be a problem. That's uh, that's in the long stuff. That's a 56 degree side wedge, if I'm not seriously mistaken. Left this one in a good spot. I don't know if I can bat that out of here. Let's see. Nope, I'm gonna win. For well, sure. this is right back where it started. I got this zone up now. That one screw up in the sand trap sealed his fate. Especially if he screwed up again. Which he does. Well, that first lie wasn't so good, but uh, this one's a little better. I'm pretty much guaranteed to win now. Yay! Thanks for getting stuck in a. Un oh, this one is just trap. Uh, like uh, frighteningly bad. I'm getting stuck in a sand trap you can't get out of. No, it's too late. But now it's way too late for you to save yourself. This one is all over. We won. Because it doesn't matter what he does, this thing is done. He goes four over part. All we gotta do is sink a shot. Doesn't matter what shot we Putting sink. This is for over. The match. For the win to finally unlock a Justin Leonard. Here we go. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Even if we bogey, that's fine. We are still gonna win. This for the match. Who would have thought you could actually win a match on a bogey? And I'm gonna do it right here. There's your winner. Justin Leonard, you are ours at last. Four hundred fifty thousand dollars. Holy shit.
Yay, Justin Leonard is ours. Finally. Let's see what total amount of cash we get is. Ten thousand nine fifty in bonus. Not bad. Driven total five hundred winning margin nine thousand. Larry John's four fifty. Five hundred two thousand nine hundred dollars. Oh my god. That's a lot of cash. Let's boost our recovery. Quite a bit. Set up to 80. And our luck gain as well. Let's boost our power. Accuracy, spin, and approach. I want recovery one too. That's fine. Now they're all in the 80. So we made out quite well. Let's see, we did just fine, guys. And our next video will be taking on Steve Stricker in the Tiger Challenge. So, until next time, it's your boy Chance of the out. Remember to like the video, please do it a like and subscribe to join Charmination today. And if you have any video game requests, please leave them in the comments this video or at my Twitter feed at CharmCity25. And don't forget to check out my friend Mel at MelRK07 on Twitter for all her wrestling go-out. Till next time, peace out.